I've been lucky enough the past couple of years to be able to um, to chaperone for my my kids' little field trips with their schools, you know, and, and help out and, and volunteer my time with that sort of thing. And uh, around last Christmas, we did this thing where we went around Christmas caroling. Yes, that's right. The public school went around Christmas caroling. It's just what we do. Anyway, um, one of the other chaperones and I were talking about any friends that we have overseas, you know, and I mentioned talking to some of my friends that are that are all in engine country, so to speak. And sort of relaying a message on how, how sometimes you hear gunfire in the background and, and uh, other sorts of things and terrible things are going on with those guys sometimes. And it's like, I don't, how do you do that? How do you, how do you talk to a person that's in a situation like that? I just can't imagine it. And um, what I said to him is you just, you enjoy the present. You know, you take, you take the danger and the doom and, you know, you know what may be coming, but instead of, instead of fear and instead of, instead of shying away and just going from doom to doom to doom to destruction to destruction, you learn to appreciate the present better. The air, the air feels good when it goes into your lungs. It feels good to see an old friend again in the present. That's what you need to do with the doom. I see a lot of people going just from calamity to calamity, and that's all that they're feeding on. Maybe calamity's coming, but use it to enjoy the present. Use it to cherish the time you have with the loved ones. Because whether or not the world ends, lives end all the time. <laughs>